Hello, my name is Philippe Rigouta. I'm the third generation of Obo maker who makes uh, Obo of our name, Rigouta. Uh, so we are in saint maur des fossés near Paris. And uh, actually, we are working uh, and still making Obo after three generations for the world uh, of musicians, of oboists. So the history began in 1922 with my grandfather, after my father followed him. And uh, I entered the company in 1977. Uh, we are making about uh, 50 to 60 obo a month. Uh, professional, student line, corps anglais, obo d'amore, and bass obo. So all the different uh, category of obo, of the obo family. An obo is made with, of wood, of course, uh, grenadilla. Called uh, with uh, name scientific name as Dalbergia melanoxylon, and this wood comes from Africa, and is made also of a mechanism which is mostly made in nickel silver, and this is of course with the treatment silver after the making, so mainly wood and metal. So there's two things we do not do here. This is the casting and of course the silver plating because it's to work by itself. I mean, it's the work of specialists and if you want good quality, most of the time you don't do it yourself. We have been introduced to uh, us machine by a customer of us, Mr. Uh, Montparlet from the Nebo company. So we have bought two machines in us. It was a uh, lathe and uh, a mini mill uh, because of the quality we want uh, to improve our quality and to be independent in making things completely by ourselves and not having subcontract and uh, which are not always precise and not so smooth to use. So it was very interesting for us to get that from this company. And uh, for the moment, we perfectly succeeded in uh, our target, which was to improve quality and capability to, to make our own product. We were uh, very happy in the use of uh, as machine because we never have any problem since three years for the lace and two years and a half for the mini mill. We're also very well made and uh, it was, uh, they are very reliable machine for that and uh, we are very happy with them uh, truly.